My friends, Passover, or Pesach, as the festival is called in Hebrew, commemorates the deliverance of the Jewish people from over two centuries of Egyptian bondage and recalls their mass exodus from Egypt more than 3,300 years ago. The story of the Israelites' increasingly oppressive servitude and suffering, the divine mission entrusted to Moses and his brother Aaron, their untiring efforts to secure the release of their people, the stubborn resistance of the Egyptian pharaoh, the series of divinely ordained plagues that eventually caused Pharaoh's change of heart and the Israelites' exodus are all recounted in the Torah, in the book of Exodus. This event became the focal point of Jewish history because it crystallized our national Jewish identity and marked the birth of the Jews as a free people. The Torah calls Pesach by the name of the Festival of the Unleavened Bread, Chag Hamatzot. In our prayer books, it is also referred to as Zaman Cherutenu, the season of our freedom. The name Chag HaPesach, meaning the festival of Passover, is the most commonly used. Pesach is a reference to the Paschal offering brought on the eve of the festival and commemorates God's promise to pass over the Israelites' homes, thus sparing them from the tenth and final plague, the slaying of the firstborn. Unique to Passover is the eating of unleavened bread, matzah, and the strict prohibition forbidding the possession as well as the eating of all leavened bread or any food containing leaven known in Hebrew as chametz. These precepts were conveyed to the children of Israel by Moses prior to their departure from Egypt and their release from bondage. Matzah recalls the haste in which our ancestors left Egypt as their dough did not have sufficient time to leaven. Chametz is any one of the five major grains, wheat, barley, rye, oats, and spelt, that has come in contact with water for at least 18 minutes. Such grain or flour is considered to have begun the leavening process. Chametz is any food or drink made from any of these grains. The only exception is matzah, which is the unleavened bread, in the baking of which special precautions are taken to avoid premature contact with water or any leavening agent. The entire baking process from the time that the flour and water are mixed into a dough must not exceed 18 minutes. Most matzo today is baked by machine, which guarantees greater speed in the process, thereby reducing the danger of leavening. Shmur matzo is handmade matzo that is typically round. The word shmura means watched or guarded. The grain is meticulously watched to see that it does not come into contact with water from the time of reaping in the field. On Passover, it is a special mitzvah to provide holiday necessities to the poor. This tradition is very strong in Jewish communities. The matzah itself is known as lechem oni, recalling the poor bread our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt. The Seder is the religious service that includes 
a festive meal on the first and second nights of Passover. The word Seder means order. It is so called because it is a ritual meal accompanied by a specific order of service unlike any other meal of the year. The Haggadah, the booklet containing the order of the Seder service, includes the blessings and prayers to be recited, which recounts the Israelite servitude and the exodus from Egypt. Beginning with the second night of Passover and every night thereafter, it is a religious duty to count the day, which is known as Sfirat HaOmer. The 50th day is the major festival of Shavuot, which some refer to as Pentecost, which means the 50th day. The purpose of the counting is to connect the festival of Pesach with the festival of Shavuot, to remind us that release from physical bondage does not constitute complete freedom unless it culminates in the spiritual disciplines and laws represented by Shavuot, which commemorates the giving of the Ten Commandments. God's revelation to Israel and Israel's acceptance of the Torah. Finally, my friends, our special holiday is also known as Chag HaAviv, the festival of spring, the early spring harvest in the land of Israel. We are reminded to pay attention to nature's own liberation, renewal, and rebirth. When nature comes to life again, after the dark days and months of winter, may this pass over season usher in for you and your loved ones a period of rebirth and renewal. Chag Kasher Misamech, a joyous and meaningful Passover to you and your loved ones.